Today, we are looking at Amazon Bedrock. This is a fully managed service that provides access to very powerful foundational models. And we can do this through simple APIs. Training and deploying these models though, and doing it from scratch does require significant resources and specialized expertise. Hi, I'm Stuart. So let me show you today how Amazon Bedrock removes all of this complexity by offering a pre-trained models which can be customized and deployed through straightforward API calls. Amazon Bedrock streamlines the integration of advanced natural language processing capabilities into all of your applications. So instead of extensive model training, we can get direct access to features like language understanding, text generation, and also question answering. We can do all of this through simple API interactions. So the integration process follows a clear structure. First, we set up our development environment and we create an Amazon Bedrock client. This is gonna be our entry point for all of our model interactions. Next, we define prompts that the model will process. Then we'll invoke the model using these prompts. And finally, we'll process the generated output for the use in our application. Before we start, let's check out what are prerequisites here to be able to do this and what I'm gonna show in the demo. First, you will need an AWS account. Second, we're gonna to have to have a development environment. Here, I'm using Virtual Studio Code with a Jupyter Notebook running Python. You can use any IDE that supports Python, so choice is yours. And third, you're gonna need an AWS credentials configured in your environment too. What this does is, it will authenticate your request to the AWS services. Now we've got that set up, let's build the integration and we'll do this step by step. Our development environment needs two very essential packages. So let's start by importing them. Here, I'm going to import Boto3 and JSON into our script. Now we'll create our Amazon Bedrock client. This client serves as the main interface for what is gonna be all of our foundational model interactions. We're using Amazon Bedrock Runtime. What this does is it creates a low level client for Amazon Bedrock Runtime service. So using my name and my credentials, and here I'm using the US East one region. What happens next is the runtime client specifically handles model interactions. And this client here will process all of our requests and responses with the foundational models. With our client ready, we'll prepare our prompts. These can include natural language instructions, code snippets, and specific tasks for our models to process. We're gonna start this with a simple example. We're gonna start with, hello, who are you? To send this API endpoint, we're going to need some specific argument keywords. We'll get these from the Amazon Bedrock console. So over here in the Amazon Bedrock console, let's take a look how this works. We navigate to the base models. We do this in the navigation pane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search and I'm gonna select for Titan Text G1 Express. I'm going to access the API request section, which is right here at the bottom. Now we've put this into our code. Let's examine each parameter. The model ID identifies our specific foundational model. The contact type and accept, this defines our data formats. The body contains our prompt and configuration settings. These are max token count. This controls the response length. The temperature affects our output randomness and top P influences our response diversity. In order to verify all our parameters here, we're just going to use quarks. And then following this, we print it. Print. We need to change our input body here to the question. So we're just simply going to ask this 
who are you? And then we can run this. Once this is running, we can see the following output here, which is our model ID, our content type. We can also see the body, which is running here as well, and the, the input text that we're adding to the configuration file. Now comes the core interaction. We're going to be invoking our model. What this does is it sends our prompt to Amazon Bedrock and receives the generated response. Let's break down the response structure before we go any further. The input text token count, this shows our prompt's token usage. It also shows the results which are contained in our actual output text and completion details. The completion reason indicates why the response has finished. This is a very structured response format that makes it simple to integrate all of the output into our applications. Amazon Bedrock offers various FMs or foundational models. Each has its own strengths and capabilities. You can specify which model you want to use by passing the model underscore name parameter when creating the Amazon Bedrock client. Now you've seen the Amazon Bedrock and how it simplifies integration of foundational models into your applications. Let's just recap what we've covered here. We've set up a complete developer environment, creating and configuring the Bedrock client, structuring and sending prompts. We've also used process model responses too. The power of these foundational models is now accessible through very simple API calls. So this means you can do this without the complexity of model training or resources management. I started with a very simple code example here, but I would encourage you to look and explore AWS documentation and additional models and configurations. Remember, Amazon Bedrock maintains the models while you focus on building the solutions. All of the documentation and resources you need for this are linked in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, you want to see some more hands-on technical content, be sure to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.